Hey guys, it's Omewrecker, and I'm playing Cabela's African Adventures today. Which is a new release on Steam, published by Activision. Uh, the developer is not clear. I actually tried doing some searching to figure out who developed this game, and uh, I'm not entirely positive. Uh, but um, this is typically considered a budget franchise. There are, or there have been many Cabela's games before, and essentially they're like action hunting games, if uh, that's your thing. Uh, but this one is kind of weird. It's it, like, for example, um, right now you can see that my mouse cursor is very limited in the range. Comes off as really like a console port. Uh, although there are some customization options uh, for PC, such as video, you can change your resolution, your screen ratio, you can set up different video presets and whatnot. Uh, but aside from that, um, there, there's a lot of stuff in this game that kind of screams console play. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some safari action, which is like the story mode. There's also galleries, which is like instant action. And uh, there's also some extras here, like that's really where you find the credits and the legal stuff. But we're going to jump right into the story mode, and I'm going to go ahead and hit continue story. And I'm going to show you guys some hunts. Hey Mason, this is your signal, right? Nosy, ain't you? Look, there's a leopard near the oasis that's been stalking one of the villages. I know they'd appreciate it if you did something about it. They have things hard enough as it is. I'll look into it. I'm kind of in the mood for some hunts that are more relaxing right now. Well, how about I give you some other options in exchange? Deal. All right, check your GPS. Okay, so we are back in game. Um, so I am, from what I can tell, in kind of like a newer area. And um, I must have just hit a progression point last time I played. Uh, but controls are, you know, for the most part like any other third person action uh, shooter. You can uh, control your character with the WAS or WASD keys. I am playing with the mouse and keyboard. Zoom in with your right click. Uh, there, um, let's see, a lot of animals, like uh, for example, birds and whatnot. Um, they're really just there for scenery. You'll see a little cross there. There, it says not your target. Won't let you shoot the birds for some reason. But anything else, you can uh, kill to your heart's content. And I, when I say kill, like you, you are leaving corpses everywhere. You're like the John Rambo of uh, the animal world, slaughtering everything you could find. Now, the game does try to pass itself off as a open world uh, type game for the most part, but really these areas are pretty linear. The game uh, directs you uh, in you know, a variety of different directions that it wants you to go to. And uh, yeah, I mean, it really there's not a whole lot of roaming. You see here that there's uh, mountains all over the place and whatnot that essentially cut you off from going where you want to go. And uh, there's encounters, like this for example, it says Nyala Encounter. And this is where you actually go and you select all your weapons and whatnot. Uh, right now I've got the option between a bolt action rifle or a break action and a break action shotgun and a bolt action rifle as well, what? I could carry two rifles I guess? That's really odd, um, hmm. Okay, well we will keep the break action rifle I guess and um, that's a 375. Looks like these are going to be heavy or heavier rounds uh, to fire off. You can also have health packs, but really you got to manage your weight. You can see here that there's all these little weight symbols. It shows you how much you could carry. You could carry seven out of seven. I'm maxed out, so I can't carry health packs. That's a risk, uh, but it's what I'm going to do. And then there's also progression. You can actually uh, level up your character essentially. See here that there's XP. And upon uh, hitting certain levels, you get ability points, which you can spend on things. For example, you see this offensive tree. I've got rapid fire. It says fires all rounds in the clip in a quick burst. Works best for firearms with a large clip size. Uh, unfortunately, the break action rifle I have is a two-shotter, so I only get two shots out of it. Uh, but other weapons, you could fire the entire clip uh, all just back to back. Um, there's also a defensive stagger, and uh, this thing it allows me to fire a forceful shot that charges or causes charging animals to stagger momentarily, but there's a five use maximum. I could also invest in stuff like stealth, and uh, you know we'll have to see if, if this mission would account, uh, or if it requires stealth. We'll figure it out, um, so let's go ahead and, oh, we just unlocked stealth sprint. So what we need to do is uh, set up that uh, there for us, so now we've got uh, sprint stealth, which means we can sprint while stealthed. It asks us to confirm, and then it brings us in uh, to our encounter, the Nyala encounter. It says our target is, I guess, this Nyala. It's just chilling there by itself. I need to get to it without alerting the other animals. 
So uh, here we go, and we've got, let's see, I, I guess I can sprint now. Yep, I got a little bit of a sprint, and we really just need to stick to the grass and hope that we don't get caught by these grazing animals. Oop, that one's noticing me. Uh, not anymore, we're good. And unfortunately, you can't just kill these things. You, you, you gotta just try to continue to be as stealthy as possible. We're gonna keep on moving. And uh, we're getting pretty close here. So, you know, a typical stealth game, uh, just going from cover point to cover point. I need to figure out what's the best... Oop. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that, uh, that animal almost spotted me. Let's see, how are we gonna get through this? Maybe when he walks by, I can rush past? Nope. You're gonna... This thing cannot see me. Okay. I need to wait till he... Oh, he sees me. Okay. Now we're gonna go and cross. Actually, we're gonna go all the way over. Almost got spotted again. Right now, this uh, stealth sprint is helping me out a lot. I do need to stay in deep brush, though. These things must have no sense of smell. Alright, something else has seen me. All right, we're getting close. Okay, this one uh, is potentially going to be a pain in the ass. Let's see, where's he going? These animals sure are chill. Okay, we're, we're just going for it. Seems like that was a good idea. Um, okay. Now we just need to take this thing out. We're going to use our rapid fire. Boom. Headshot. Ayala is down. I don't know why we just killed it, uh, but that was a success. Pretty easy mission overall. Uh, we got an ability point for it. Bodies do not stick around, uh, oddly enough. A lot of times you'll see them just disappear. And yeah, we're done with this encounter, so we need to go and get back, I guess, to our car. Um, unless I'm supposed to keep going. Am I supposed to keep going? Let's actually see what's over here. Top of this hill. And uh, you can scroll to your different weapons. Uh, you obviously only carry two at a time. Oh shit, no, 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 that's out of bounds. Okay. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to run all the way back to my car, it looks like. And I don't even see it on the map. Unfortunately. And all the animals that were once here have taken off. Which is fine. And as you can see, again, the environments are very, very restrictive. They they certainly keep you locked in. You're not not really going to be free roaming all that much. I did see a glimmer in the distance, I think. Yep. So th that means that there's uh, something for me to get. Uh, this is one of the fossils, they call it. I don't know why they call them fossils, because uh, typically the things you find are like scopes and uh, modifications. So we're going to go ahead and collect this. It says new firearm upgrade, spring-loaded something. Uh, I didn't get to read it. But I think we're going to be close to being able to do an upgrade on one of our weapons here. Okay, so we're going to get inside. And uh, let's go find another encounter. Hopefully something cool. And you can hold tab to go to the map. Then you can scroll around, let's see. Um, base camp. There's an opportunity hunt. Let's go for this Blesbok thing. Okay, we'll get out of there. And uh, we'll also see if we find any animals on the way. For the most part, my experience has been that the the land is actually pretty barren and uh, devoid of life, except when you find the encounters. Okay, we're gonna try going this way. Looks like there's a roadway. Okay. Oh, I see something else. Yep, something else is flashing over here. What is this? Like salt pits or something? Let's go in here. Grab that. Where is it? Got it. Look at this. Vulture. I can shoot it, but it won't die. I don't know why this game discriminates against uh, certain animals where they're they're uh, unable to be killed, but yet I can go hunt down a endangered rhino. Which is uh, kind of ridiculous. Uh, okay. This is a hunting point, so... Let's see, where are these animals? 
I'm not seeing them yet. Nope. Not in the valley. Well, uh, we're gonna have to keep looking, I guess. They, they must be roaming a little bit from this area. Hopefully they don't get scared by my jeep. Oh, there they are. Okay, time to start killing these things. There we go. And you can see that it wants us to get seven Blezbox, or whatever they are. Oh wow, they're quick. I hit it. Let's see, how's the aim? It looks like as long as your crosshairs are lit up, you're actually pretty good to hit. Which makes aiming really, really easy. Nope, those ones are uh, misses. Come on, show yourself. Don't have all day. All right, let's go get our Jeep and we're gonna go hunt that thing down. As mentioned, you are gonna be leaving bodies everywhere in this game. So if you, uh, if you are a big fan of animals and you uh, get sad easily because, you know, people abusing them and shooting them to death and all that, then Maybe this game isn't for you, although odds are you probably like to go and pick up the latest Call of Duty or Battlefield game and shoot humans to death. Uh, but I guess that's okay. Alright, let's see. Uh, this is going to be like Jackal's Ground, essentially. And again, map is very, very limited. It's not giving us too many options. I'm not sure why there's so much open space here. Oh, there we go. The map's kind of unlocking as we go along. I want to find another cool hunt for you guys, though. Okay, so there's really nothing over here. So we're just going to keep driving along. Okay, another random encounter spot. Wait, did I just see something? Unfortunately, I cannot look around in this vehicle. Or while in this vehicle. Uh, you can do some really ridiculous stuff, by the way, with the jeeps. And if you ever roll the jeep, it will automatically just put you back in it and allow you to keep going. I'm not seeing any other encounters yet. This is really weird. Um, you know, in the early game, you, you get to see um, several encounters back to back really, really close to your base. Still not seeing the hyenas that are supposed to be here. Unless I'm just blind. Let's see, well there's there's some sort of circle here. Let's go inside this cavern, maybe we'll find something interesting. Oh, here's an encounter, I guess. Alright. See what we got here. Alright, claws and fangs, mission summary. Alright, um. Alright, let's see, what can we do? All right, we're just going to go next, and we're going to get rid of the passive stealth, and we're going to do sea vitals instead. And uh, actually, we could do knockback, I think. That's an active as well. Versus stagger. You know what? I think I want stagger. All right, so we're going to hunt with this loadout. All right, search for the leopards, it says. All right. Uh-oh. Cutscene time. The cutscenes always kind of look washed out. Alright, so... I guess there's the leopards hunting these uh, animals and we're supposed to go save... Uh, these, uh... Animals that are being hunted. Alright, let's start climbing up these rocks, which of course are the only rocks you can climb in the game. All the others uh, that you find that don't have those really, really uh, sharp angles on them, you cannot climb. Alright, so we're going to be running all through a cavern system, I guess. I don't know if the game just wants to show off visuals. Here we go, another cutscene. Kind of weird how it pops in there. Alright, it looks like there's several. Uh, what, am I going to be sniping them? Shit. Did I just lose them? Am I... I'm just supposed to keep running, huh? 
Okay. Uh, so far, this is really weird. Typically, the game has thrown encounters at me that involve herds of animals charging me and whatnot, but these predators are more or less trying to get away from me. I have encountered other predators before in the game. Uh, but they were very, very aggressive, trying to hunt me, essentially. See, uh, I have... oh, oh, something's over here. Oh, God! Smart. Keep attacking my flank. God, that thing is fast. Down. Alright, one is down. And, uh, let's see, does a body disappear while I'm looking at it? Yes, it does. So, as I said, bodies don't stick around too long. Uh, where, where is the other one? The other one's gotta be hiding around here. Are we playing hide-and-go-seek? Is that what this is? Oh, oh, oh. He's around. Okay, got him once. I kind of want to do the stagger shot. Oh. There we go, that was a stagger. You saw how it's, uh, well, it's, as it's called, staggered. Okay. Here comes another. Damn it. I think I just killed it. Yep. Question is, are there any more that I'm gonna have to deal with here? Can I sneak around here? No? Oh, here comes another. Let's show off our rapid fire. Two shots in quick succession there. I've got my stagger back up. Oh, we're being charged from behind. Okay, that one's down. And it kind of puts you into like a bullet time mode when that uh, when that happens. All right, here comes another. Obviously, hip fire is not nearly as accurate. I think we just got another. Man, these things just keep coming. They don't know when to stop. Got it. All right. Is that going to be it? <clears throat> yep, Claws and Fangs has been completed. 2500 XP for that. Please tell me I don't have to run all the way back to my car. Come on. <clears throat> There's no way. Shit. Is there not a shortcut? Oh my god. This is one area, um, in terms of game design that's kind of a pain in the ass, is... Having to backtrack at times, like this mission, it should have given me a, a clear and easy way to get back to my vehicle. I'm not seeing one. It's not really giving me any sort of, uh, guide as to where to go. I need to find my way back up here. Okay. We're gonna have to run all the way back. But, um, you know, visually, the game's not bad. Uh, there are some moments that uh, I actually was quite impressed. For example, when I was uh, sneaking through some tall grass for the first time, and uh, there were, you know, herd animals all around that uh, wanted to maul me with their horns to death. I, I You know, there, there's definitely some, some things that, uh, you know, can be said in a positive manner about the visuals. At the same time, it's also not the best game our best-looking game in the world. I'm sure it uh, potentially was held back a little bit by uh, the fact that it's a game that's been sent over to, or that was made for consoles. Although again, PC support is okay. Uh, even though I had the issues with the menu and I had my cursor that was restricted, uh, it, it, it is not really appearing in-game here. I've got full range of movement with my character. No issues whatsoever. Alright, so Let's get back in our Jeep and figure out if there's anything else to do. I'm thinking I'll show you guys at least one more encounter. Let's see, is there anything on the map? Not that I can see. Alright. Okay, can I go this way? Looks like I can. 
Okay, so we are in uncharted territory. And you will find areas that are like lookouts and pretty much you use those. Uh, kind of like in Assassin's Creed how you'd find those vantage points. You use the points uh, to, to kind of open up the map a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and get out. Come on. There we go. Uh-oh. Shit, it's up this thing. Ah, what a pain in the ass. Alright. Oh, we gotta get back in. <sighs> and you can see the eyeball there. That's obviously an indication of... ...of uh, the lookout point. Alright, how do we get up here? This... I have a feeling this is gonna be a dead end. This is not gonna be it. Yep. Okay. Driving is <laughs> obviously not all that realistic. Oh wait, I can go up here. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't seem like you can run over animals, but uh, let's get out. Let's go ahead and start this thing and see what we got. Okay, so this is a mission with two stars in combat, two in stealth. Let's go ahead and keep our loadout. Got another ability point to spend if we want it. Uh, let's take a look at something really quick. Is this a passive? No, this is an active. So we can only have two active abilities. I'm gonna keep... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's do something here. Let's get rid of rapid fire. In favor of knockback. All right, let's start hunting. All right, one is not enough. It says sneak by grazing animals, and we're getting another one. Another. I don't even know what the name is anymore. But really, that's that's what we're doing. Oh shit! I just fired right when I started. All right, checkpoint load. Here we go. Actually, I kind of wish I. I would have changed my loadout a little bit. Oh, well, I scared him already. All right, checkpoint load, here we go. And as far as I know, there's not a, a, an easy way really to go back and change everything. Okay, oh, oh, I'm being noticed. Can I get away with this? No, that sucks. Let's see if we can exit the hunt. And then restart it. Yeah, we can restart it. Alright, let's restart it. This time we're going to bring our stealth uh, passive with us. Okay, we're going to do next. Passive is stealth. Hunt. Yes, let's do it. Unfortunately, this one doesn't seem like it's going to be all that exciting. Um, you know, the... The stealth gameplay in this is obviously quite simple. Just going cover to cover. I don't know how much more difficult it's going to get. Okay, I'm going to try to to go for this here. Yep, I was able to make it. Perfect. Okay, from here... We're going to have to wait till he turns around. Okay, we're safe. We're just gonna haul ass. This perk makes it really, really easy to get through these stealth missions, it seems. Alright. So from here, where do we want to go? Does that one ever move? I think we might have to loop around here. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. And what's weird is that animal just disappeared after it jumped. Ah, oh, so frustrating. And of course it starts you all the way back at the beginning. And again, we're just gonna go for this. We're gonna go for this one. And this time we're gonna wait for it to turn around. I'm trying to see if there's any other paths that I'm not seeing yet. Okay. Alright. Uh, nope. He's noticing. Um, hey, what the hell, man? What the- seriously, what is up with this? These ones don't move! Uh, 
I supposed to go up here? Oh, no! Oh my god, it said I left the hunting area. Oh, all right, we're gonna try this one more time. This is it. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys any crazy big hunts. Let's see, can we get away with this? Yes, we can. Okay, we got away with that. We have to wait till they put their heads down, is that it? When they put their heads down, that would then we're sue. I think that might be it. Yep, when our heads are down, all of a sudden we're safe. I don't see any animals over here. Okay, so that's a new mechanic that they've added to the cell side of this game. And I guess this is the cheatsy path. Given that I'm not uh, facing any sort of risks at all, they're all kind of facing away from me. Which is fine. You guys just keep chilling. And I'm gonna kill your friend. <gasps> Got it. Done. Okay. Well, um, I guess that's it for this mission. Oh, I need to reach a new shooting position. Alright, so that's not the only one. Am I gonna have to do more stealth crap here? I hope not. Think I got it? Yep, I got it. One thing I do want to point out as well, you'll see some really, really weird physics stuff. Survive. What? What? What the hell? Freaking hyenas, man. Alright, now we got our slow mo. There's his organs. That one's down. Got more coming. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, we got a couple more. Uh, we gotta try our, our uh, E shot as well. Whoa, what the hell was that? What's the big one? Oh god, is that a panther? Okay, we'll do a stagger. Alright, he's dead. I swear a panther just came at me. I don't, as far as I know, they don't work together usually. Uh, but this is pretty easy so far. Okay. Another panther is down, I guess. Another one's down. I should probably show you guys some of the attack animations, so we're gonna let one of these actually get close to me. Let's see. Alright, so he didn't grab my leg, but occasionally they'll grab your leg and stuff and... and essentially latch onto you. Okay, so we, we just wrap this up. This mission's done. I guess it was just meant to be. Uh oh, cutscene. This animal is so powerful, it's not bound to small territories the way normal ones are. It migrates and moves as it pleases with its whole cabal. If I'm going up against some kind of monster leopard, I need to wait till the evening. Then the worst of the pack should be out hunting. I'll get a little extra practice in the meantime. Okay, uh, I guess now I'm hunting a leopard. It says less known sightings, western desert, not like solitary. The next piece of the statue may be hidden in one of the leopard lairs. I just can't be sure which one. Then I'll hit them all. Just point me. You're a better worker bee than I could have ever imagined. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I've shown about all um, I need to show to, to give you guys kind of an impression of of what you can expect here. Uh, but the encounters thus far weren't anything all that epic. Uh, there are some though that are supposed to be. There's, um, you know, the, the buffalo, there's uh, lions, there's, um, let's see. I'm actually looking at uh, some of the details here. It says there's a rhino, uh, lion, leopard, cape buffalo, African elephant. So I guess you even hunt elephants. Uh, so 
Man, I, you know, it, it's tough, uh, you know, with a game like this, given the fact that in reality, a lot of these animals, especially the elephants and the rhinos and whatnot, are, you know, endangered species for the most part, and are, you know, really need to be protected, but then it's kind of sensationalized in this game. Uh, just all this needless slaughtering. It's not like you're uh, stripping them for meat and hides and whatnot. Not even that you should do that with endangered animals, but like, you're literally just straight up killing these things. Um, and, and there's really not, a, you know, much of a story to it. I mean, the, the game did try to introduce a love interest in a previous encounter, but I don't really think that's gonna go too far. This guy looks like E.T. or something, doesn't it? I swear to God, I see an eye here. And there's like a little mouth and a nose. Am I seeing things or what? Do you guys see this eyeball here? Maybe I'm hallucinating at this point. So that's like a neck. I don't know. To me, it looks like a face. I could be wrong. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, though, the show here. The, again, this is Cabela's African Adventures. It's out now. It's a brand new release on Steam, and I believe it's out on the consoles as well. Uh, kind of a goofy game. I, in, in honesty, I spent a, a decent amount of the first half of the game before I recorded, uh, laughing at things because I thought it was so ridiculous. Uh, perhaps you guys might have the same experience, which might give it some more value, but uh, for the most part, uh, aside from that, it's not typically a game I would normally uh, buy or play. So, uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and uh, I will see all of you guys next time.